Hi, everybody. Here's a quick how to have students use Canva to create these, what I call all about me collages. So give me just a moment and I will go through some of the steps with you first, and then I'm going to go back and do a step by step. So these are three examples you can see. And what I have students do is create the background first. Those are the rectangles you see, come up with their color plan. Then they put their first name in the center. And then they have eight spaces left to insert things about them. And I call it their favorites, favorite activities, favorite sports, favorite things they think they might want to do as careers, favorite animals, favorite food, favorite anything. Okay. So this next slide I'll show you in just a minute here. Um, so this will show you one of mine. Um, this one I've got favorite animal, um, being outside in nature, working at school, digital photography, traveling, writing, and of course, art. This one I'll show you in a minute, but here's how we start. And then once they get this main grid put together, then they add their things inside of it. So let me back out of here. Give me just a moment and I will come back and I will show you how we set this up. So here I am at a slightly minimized screen so you can see. So those are my nine rectangles. How do you do this? Well, here's what I have students do, okay? You go to open up Canva, okay? Let me get to the home page. And I have students select presentation just so that they get a rectangular format. Look, you could choose Instagram square post. You could customize the size to whatever works for you. But here is what I do. So I click presentation. And then from there, you're gonna get a blank screen. And from the blank screen, then we're gonna use elements to add in the shapes that we need to add. So you could have students name their file. That's up at the top where it says untitled design up by my little circle picture. You can click it, you can have students give it any title you want. All about me, collage. And there, okay. So let's go over to elements. And I do this using my big whiteboard so students can see. They're gonna click the shapes and the shapes, it looks like this black square. So if you click that, it's gonna land in the middle, but it's kind of brown. So I say, let's not worry about the color. Let's move it up to the top left corner, okay? So you're gonna need three rows and three across. So we're gonna change the size of these. So I talk about estimating. So I'm gonna grab this from here and maybe I go there. And then I look down below. So let's see if we can make this fit. So let's do one at a time. We get a shape. You know what we're gonna do? Control D is gonna duplicate it. Move this over and I'm gonna change the color just so I can kind of see what's happening with my shapes. Go back to this one and move it over. Okay, so those seem to fit pretty well just by guesstimating, truly. Okay, now what if I take this whole row and I group it? Then I can duplicate it and see if it will fit two more times below. Okay, this is a bit of a shortcut rather than just, again, guessing and trying and getting it right or getting it wrong, okay? Before I do that, though, why don't I get colors that I like? So I could go with here. I'm just going to pick a color. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to pick a color, okay? So I'm going to group those. How do you group on Canva? You could do a select all, control A, if they're using Chromebooks, and then you can click group. Those are going to travel together. What can I do with that? I can duplicate it. How do you duplicate? Control D. Okay, sorry, I keep pressing the wrong thing. <laughs> can come here, bring this down. Okay, it fits there. What if I click one more? It's a little bit short. So what if I group all three of these and make it fit? How about before that though, I change the middle one, otherwise they're just stripes. So I'm gonna click this middle one here and I'm gonna click ungroup. And then I'm gonna click each one and I'm gonna go this one 
go to your green circle. This one, I'm gonna change the color to there. This one, I'm gonna change the color to there. And this one, I'm gonna change the color to there, okay? Now I could do a select all again, group them and make everything fit, right? So control A selects everything, group, and just take this and bring this down. And there you go. Okay, so that's part one. Okay, part two now, I'm gonna add the information. So what can you do? You go to the word text and you're gonna add your name. So I'm gonna go add a subheading, okay? And you can tell students to use their first name or their last name or whatever, okay? Um, I'm gonna use, um, I'll just use my official name, Dr. Mondero. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight that go up to the font. I tell students you have to find a different font and there are a lot of free fonts. I like apricot, it's just kind of fun to use. Drag a corner, pull it down, drag a corner, make this a little bigger. Do you want it black? Do you want to play with the color? How would this look if it was light? I mean, so you can play around with things, you know, you can suggest to students that they experiment. You can't see it very well when it's like that. Okay, so maybe I come back over here, I'll make it gray to play around. Okay, how do you search for things? Very easy on Canva. You go to the left where it says elements. Let me click this box. That'll get rid of my text box. Go to elements and I can then search. Let's say I want to search for um, golden retriever. I love my dog. Golden retriever. Okay. Now you define your rules. I say you can only use graphics. I say you cannot use video, you cannot use photos. I just want graphics so it's consistent. Now you can talk about design. So I'm gonna click graphics and this will give me all of those. So I can come down and see which one do I wanna use. I might want to use, oh, I like this one. Oh, I like this one. Okay, I'm gonna go here, okay. Shrink them down, remember pull from the corners and I can put that there. Can I add more to that? Yes. I could come back up here and I could type in paw prints. Okay, and then you can find a bunch of these. Oh, look how fun. So I could take this and move this back behind. I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit. And I can move this over here. What do you want in front? The paw prints or the dog? The dog, we say, click the dog, go to position, go to bring to front. I can click this and I can duplicate that and put it back behind here again. Click my dog, position, bring to front. So this is how you little by little put things together. Okay, and you just kind of go through your list. And you'll see as you go through these that you can get to some really great solutions. You can look up food, so I can come back over here to elements and let's say I look up um, ice cream cones, cones. Okay, let's see what I get under graphics. Okay, look, I'm starting to see something cool here. I could put this down first. I can move this over here. It's kind of like my paw prints. So now I'm getting something that's kind of consistent. I can scoot this over, okay can go back to my elements and now I can find ice cream cones. Which ones do I like? So you can search and search and search. You can go, oh, I like, okay, I'll put this one, shrink it down. You see, you can turn things at an angle. Ba -dum -ba -dum, ba -dum -ba -dum. So this is just experimenting with your space. Okay, I could put more in there. I kind of like, um, uh, this one, bring this over. Okay, so this is kind of how this goes, right? When you get it the way you want it, then I tell students, here's how you download. You go to the word share and you click that open and you go to the word download and then you click download. Now, if they view something that's a premium content, they won't be able to download it. So you just wanna be careful with that. I always tell students that you can't use those things that are premium content. Um, it just won't work. 
So I hope that helps you out. I have students submit their projects to Canvas for grading. So have a great day. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.